The Magic School Bus presents Wild Weather. Weather all around us. The rain had almost stopped. Miss Frizzle pointed to a rainbow in the sky. The sun is coming out, she said. The frizz explained that our weather is decided by what happens in Earth's atmosphere. That's the name we give to all the gases surrounding our planet. Buckle up and let's take a closer look. There's a lot of information on these pages, so I'm just going to be reading the main narrative text. And you can pause the video or buy the book to read the rest. Up in the clouds. Clouds are made of billions of tiny drops of water or ice crystals. They form when water rises up into the air as a gas, water vapor. On reaching cooler air high up, the water turns back into a liquid and may even freeze into crystals. Water everywhere. Earth is sometimes called the blue planet. This is because the oceans that cover about 70% of the Earth look blue from space. This water has always been on the planet, constantly changing from liquid to gas or ice as it moves between the ground and the air. We call this the water cycle. Rain. Rain falls to, water falls to Earth as rain. It fills lakes, ponds, rivers, and streams and helps plants to grow. We could not live without drinking fresh water. Seawater is too salty for us to drink. Too much rainfall can cause flooding. Wind power. Wind is just air on the move. Its movement is caused by changes in the temperature of air, land, and water. When hot air rises, Cold air flows in to fill the space left behind, and this makes wind. Wind can move slowly to make a breeze, or it can move very quickly in a gale. Hurricane! Hurricanes are storms with strong winds and heavy rain. They start over the warm waters near the equator and happen when hot water vapor rises to form clouds. The clouds and winds start to spin and form a storm that rushes toward land. Once on land, hurricanes can cause great damage. Tornado! A tornado is a fast-spinning tube of air that links the ground to a cloud in the sky. They develop during some thunderstorms and are also called twisters. Tornado winds are the strongest on Earth, reaching 300 miles per hour, or 500 kilometers per hour. They are strong enough to lift cows, cars, and even houses high into the air. Thunder and lightning. Lightning happens in a storm, when ice in the clouds become charged with electricity and causes a giant spark. Thunder is the sound of air expanding from the heat in the lightning. We hear it after seeing the lightning flash because light travels faster than sound. Snowstorms. Snow is made up of tiny ice crystals. The crystals form when drops of water freeze in very cold temperatures. Snow is mostly air, which is why snowflakes are bigger than raindrops, but take longer to fall. A snowflake can take up to an hour to float to the ground. Freezing weather. The parts of the world that are farthest north and south get less sun. This means they are colder. The coldest continent is Antarctica, home to the South Pole. Temperatures there never rise above freezing. Hot weather. A heat wave is when the weather is very, very hot for days on end. It goes on for months and there is no, if it goes on for months and there is no rain, it can lead to a drought. The land dries up and the soil cracks and is blown away. Crops die, which can mean there is not enough food for people to eat.
Weather forecasting. The weather changes all the time. Forecasters try to predict our weather, hours, days, and even weeks in advance. They look at the weather in different parts of the world to help them decide what will happen next. They also look for patterns in weather records from the past. Changing climate. When the bus flew back over the city, Phoebe said the air looked foggy. Miss Frizzle told us this was smog, pollution that hangs in the air. There are also gases that we can't see, she said. She explained that these were greenhouse gases and that they were making the planet hotter. We call it global warming and it may bring more wild weather in the future. Weather professionals. Many jobs have something to do with measuring and studying the weather. Some people forecast what the weather is likely to do next. Others chase storms to watch and record the effects that weather has on the world around us. You can read about storm chasers, meteorologists, climatologists, weather forecasters, atmospheric science teachers. And words to know, here's your glossary. You can pause the page and look over with an adult if you need help. But that was The Magic School Bus Presents Wild Weather by Scholastic. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I put out a new video. And if you want to hear about something in particular, send me a message or leave a comment on the video. Thanks. Stay dry.